Let's learn about text selection API in HTML5. I'll quickly start by writing an input tag here. It's of type text. I'll give it a value directly here. Some string so that we could select this text using HTML5 API. Also a button here which I'll uh, clicking upon which I'll invoke some method. I'll write that method later on. Let us take a look at it in the browser. So this is it. This is the string we are going to select and it starts from the index 0 and not from 1. Now I'll start writing simple JavaScript. I'll write a function. I'll call it select. I'll give this input box an ID because we need to reference to this input field so that we could select the text present inside this input box. I'll select this by its ID that is name. Now using this well let me tell show you the old school method of selecting the text which is select method which have been using all these days before even before HTML5. Now I'll call select method upon clicking this button which selects the entire string here. This is how we used to do. We did not have finer little control over here but with the HTML5 selection APIs we have a whole range of controls here. We can select start we can specify the start of selection that is in this case I'll give 3 it will just point the cursor to the third position 0, 1, 2, 3 maybe here once we click the select button yeah it's coming the cursor we could even specify the end point which would select starting with selection start value and ending with selection end value 3 and 10 Let's have a look. Okay, it selects here. We also have, we could even specify the range that is set selection range, which takes two parameter, which is start and end of the selection. I'll give three and 12, maybe some random numbers. So that range of text has been selected here. If we give more than the range of our string characters, it just ends up to the end of the string here, like this. The same holds good if you give negative values. Since the text starting index is zero, it can't get negative. So, if I give negative range values, it still selects from zero till its end, specified end. So this is how selection start, selection end, set selection range works. Selection start is a HTML5 property that sets or gets the selection start point. Selection end, it is a HTML5 property that sets or gets the selection end point. Similarly, set selection range is a HTML5 method that sets the selection start and end points. So this is HTML5 selection API. Please share this video with your friends on Google+, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, StumbleUpon, etc. Stay subscribed to technotip.com and to our YouTube channel and don't forget to like this video on YouTube.